Hello everyone, Sigma Laser here, and welcome to Outlast. It is spooky season. I haven't really played any hardcore horror games so far this month, apart from the Resident, Resident Evil series, but they're not really scary, let's be honest. As much as I love the series, it stopped being scary a while back. Outlast, on the other hand, was terrifying when it first came out. And we need some spooks. There it is. Mount Massive Asylum. I can't remember what to do. It has been, again, it's been a while since I've played it. You don't know me, have to make this quick. They might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software con consultation at Murkoff Psychi Psychiatric Systems facilities in Mount Massive. All sorts of NDAs I'm very much breaking right now, but seriously, fuck those guys. Terrible things happening there. Don't understand it, don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy going too deep, finding something that had been waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt and Murkoff is making money. It needs to be exposed. batteries and the most important part of the game we have our camera miles up sure that's me okay let us begin There's our notes, there's our files, we keep our camera up because we need to record everything. God, it's a very intimidating building to open the door quickly press X to open the door slowly hold it right. okay I can't close it I've made a note I start feeling sick just looking at this place. Mount Massive Asylum shut down amid scandal and government secrecy in 1971. Reopened by Merkel Psychiatric Systems in 2009 under the guise of a charitable organisation. Cell phone reception cut off abruptly a mile out. More like a jammer than lost signal. The Merkel Corporation has a long track record of disguising profit as charity, but never on American soil. Whatever they thought they could get out of this place has to be big. Might finally be the story that breaks those bastards. Hello, I saw you. Let's crouch. Ah, there's run. Yeah, I figured it out, thank you. Someone's upset the dogs. 
Ah, there's night vision. Alright. Let's enter the asylum. Cool. Thanks for that. Classic, classic jump scare. Hello? Battery, yes, thank you. Why to reload? Thank you. I won't do that. Oh, that was loud. Oh, yeah, hold to slowly open and close. Fair enough. Patient claims to have progressed to self directed lucid dream state. Morphogenic engine activity observed and at unprecedented scale, continuing stage four home hormone schedule. Spiro spirometry revealed no uh, brachial accumulation. These are some words. <laughs> Hematocrit centrifuge again failed to separate. That highly worries them. MRI revealed REM NREM cycle laughter in NREM state. Interview notes. Billy asked about the status of his mother's lawsuit against Murkoff and the asylum. This represents a catastrophic breach in security, despite Billy's claims that he discovered the truth in the blood dreams of Dr. Traeger. Note the only Traeger on company records, one Richard Traeger, is an executive from MRD. All orderlies and security personnel must be questioned and video security improved to include analytical biometrics. Murkoff Psychiatric Systems Project War Rider Mount Massive CO. Yeah. Hello? Uh, King Believer in Do Not Disturb. I I can respect that. There's my response. Avoid contaminate. Wash your hands and wear your mask. Catch it, bin it, kill it. Cola. <laughs> Drink it. Don't ask questions. Just consume product. Lovely. Hello. messy down there. Love what you're doing with the place. Yummy.
any files or batteries around here? No. Oh, hello. They killed us. Hold on. to go. I'm inside. Bodies everywhere. Blood. Burn marks. Heads lined up like bottles behind a bar. Dead Murkov scientists hung from the ceiling. Their badges say Murkov Advanced Research Systems. Murkov's long-time MO has been to profit off the exploitation of supposed charity. Fuck the third world and bankroll another billion. How did Murkov think they would make money of a building full of crazy people? There's some kind of tactical cop pinned like, pinned like a pig on a spit. Tells me to get the fuck out and then dies. <laughs> Would have been a good thing to hear when I could still leave the way I came. Well, that just sounds really negative, Miles. I mean, come on. Positive mental attitude. If you believe you can do it, you can. See? See, we, we, can, we can leave. I think you're just making excuses, Miles. Anyway, we are here to do a job, so let's... Oh, hi, Chris. Oh, lovely. I know, batteries ring low. Alright, we're good here. Little pig. Hi. Ow. My head. I'm Miles. Hi, Uncle Fester. I, I see. Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. Guard your life, son. You have a calling. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm a journalist. Investig investigative journalist. That's my calling. Well, isn't this lovely? Alright. Do you have anything interesting around here? Any batteries, files? Oh, there's a file. There we go. In the matter of the seizure of Mount Massive Centre, Murkov Psychiatric Systems, Mount Massive Wilderness Area, Country Road 112. Having been made before the Board of Directors by Murkov Headline Security, who has reason to believe catastrophic security failure of Psychiatric Centre with imminent danger of environment contamination. We are satisfied that the Avedivitivs and testimony established sufficient evidence to require urgent action on part of MHS and grounds for the in issuance of this warrant. You are hereby required to grant MHS full access to all facilities and surrender complete authority to its agents. By acceptance of this document, you and any surviving relatives 
surrender all claims of litigation against the Murkoff Corp. Oh, that is scummy. What a scummy thing to... That can't be legal. Or it's subsidiaries for the actions of MHS or the circumstances which required their actions regardless of responsibility. That is some scummy shit. Remember right, they need to go this way first. Alright, any batteries or documents? No, it doesn't look like it. Ah. Document, thank you. Therapy status. Morphogenic engine activity plateaued, plateaued at roughly 2,000 ppm. Unsafe to pro progress beyond stage 3 hormone schedule. Diagnostics. Spirometry revealed light to medium bronchial bronchial what? Whatever. Accumulation. MRI scans consistent with patients reported dreams. Walker was interviewed in restraints following his self-inflicted mutilations. Restraint have to be altered to accommodate his enormous size. Extensive dermal eruptions as consistent with failed morphogenic engine cellular activity. He claims the skin ripped from his forehead allows for a truer way of seeing. Seems to have some boyhood experience with Toyotora lizards and their Parental, parental eyes? I have no idea. I really should read more. He has expressed anxiety about his flesh, specifically around his legs and nose. Attending orderlies should be advised to watch for further self-mutation. Mutilation. The mental traumas he sustained while serving in Afghanistan seem to be re retarding progression of the ME process. His predominant fixation amplified by therapy is a manic exaggeration of military security protocol. A continuation of both chemical and physical restraints is highly recommended. Now that would be our friend Chris. Any batteries? No? Hi! You right there, bud? Oh, beautiful. You could, you're gonna, darling, you're fabulous. You're gonna be amazing. Hi. Oh, cool. My favorite show. I've, I've already seen this one, though. Crowd of broken men watching a dead channel. They look like patients. They survived whatever happened here, but nobody's home. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Oh, go out to your hands and your face. Whoops. God damn, I keep doing that. Alright, not going that way. Oh, yeah, battery, there we go. Really? I can't just drop down there? Oh, fine. Thank you. What have you got for me? Yes. Thank you. Uh, you know what? You can have the week off. I'm feeling generous. Right. 
Now I've got the card key. See you later, lads. I'm just going to shut this so you've got some privacy. Oh, God. Get off. Get off. What did you say? Enough of that craziness. Cool. Witness. I'm already beat all to hell picking broken glass out of my scalp. Couple cracked ribs, nearly killed by a deformed giant. Looks like somebody tried to fuck start his head with a cheese grater. He throws me through a wall, knocks me unconscious. I wake up and some doughy old man with a face like an alcoholic kitty fiddler in a homemade priest outfit calls me his apostle. Not a job I asked for. There are words scrawled in blood everywhere. I'm getting an ugly feeling in my gut that the priest is writing them, and for my benefit. I think you could be right. Oh, lovely. Hi there. Oh, crap. I just wanted the battery. Oh, I asked for. All right, no one's home. Hello. Why should we have to pay for this? Why do we have to die? Walker will kill us just for being sick. Push those people. We didn't choose this. Good point, well made. Any batteries here? No. Well, I'll take this. Dear Sirs, the full report pending no immediate action is required on, part, on the part of the Murkoff Corp. The profit potential of Project Wall Rider remains staggeringly high. The four facilities contain enough amb ambiguous data to make any litigation, if evidence is correctly managed, impossible. Project Wall Rider remains a dangerous initiative and there will, will almost certainly be further casualties. As with the others, however, family and government interest in the patients is so low as to make any chance of legal action vanishingly unlikely. Violence among patients is increasing as the morphogenic engine therapy gets closer to producing working models, but a combination of physical and chemical restraints has proven sufficiently effective to assure continued control and profit. Wow, you're an absolute douche, Helen Granat. Murkoff legal mitigation. Of course, you're a lawyer. You don't have a soul. No, let's keep that up. Okay, yep, yeah, got the lockers to hide in. Very good. Let's get to work. Oh, it's Uncle Festa. Don't. Oh, you dick. Oh, it's our it's our friend Chris. 
way to get this down. Don't try and fight. I'm not going to. I'm a lover, not a fighter. The big fucker is stalking me. Found a patient file for a Chris Walker, ex-military police. Several tours in Afghanistan. A lot of the blood in this place is on his hands, but not all of it. I'm, I'm good, thanks. Hi, smile for the camera. This seems like a good spot to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been Outlast, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.